Good evening, everybody. We are back. You're watching a billiard live stream, the Predator French Open 2015. We're just warming up for our last live stream game of the night. It's going to be a good one. Francois Villa of France is lining up against Tony Drago, the tornado yeah. from Morta. From Morta, yeah. Both it's guys uh, are through to the second round, yep. still on the winner's side. This is a match to qualify for the last 32, which will be single elimination played from tomorrow. Just going to give you an update of some of the yep. scores on the other tables, matches which are going on. We've got Alex Montpellier leading Napsi Tan, 7-2 an all-French encounter, and an another all-French encounter. We've got Vincent Faquet. He's currently losing 3-5 to Alain da Costa. And we've got some surprises, uh, Joe, during the break. Between Oh, big surprises, I mean. That's right. We've had a couple of players drop to the loser's side. We yeah. saw Dim Tim de Reuter lose to Alex Ev yeah. earlier on the stream, and Imran Majid is also fallen to the loser side he lost to Noel Brunoig of Belgium Noel Brunoig from Belgium yeah so he's gonna have to come back tomorrow and do things the hard way on the loser side qualification sure. match sure and we also saw uh, Boris Lee from France China China connection uh, and uh, he won 9-7 against Ferdios de Mia really surprising results also yeah, it was a nice match. I watched good, a bit of that during the break, and we had good performance Boris, from Boris did well yeah. to hold on. Yeah. And Francois is playing with efficiency. First shot and first combo. 1-0 for the French on the stable. A French from the area of Nice on the south of the France. That's a nice. Very nice guy. He made a great, great game. Uh, great first game. He was behind uh, most of the game against uh, the Serbian. Boris Vidakovic. Yes, and he won. Nice comeback win, yeah. And he won 9 7 with, uh, during, uh, after great efforts, and uh, now he deserved this match on the TV table against the Tornado Tony Drago, who is uh, familiar, We're very familiar with this tournament. Uh, very uh, quick player, everybody knows that, but uh, he's going to show us. Once again, uh, his quickness. And Francois, pretty slow, pretty slow player. So it's going to have to be uh, nice to, sh to see. And uh, Francois also uh, shows he's not afraid of Tony, made a combo for the first shot. So, OK, we'll see that. Pretty interesting game for the last game of the day. As you said, tomorrow, more, tomorrow morning, we have the, we'll have the, the, the loser side. And uh, the, in fact, uh, the most important fact for the players there is to stay in a side and to, to reach uh, the last 32 and to have the opportunity to play a player from the, to the side uh, at, tw at four yeah, 2 o'clock to uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow. And the loser uh, will have to come back sooner in the morning trying to, to, to be qualified for the last 32. So, 1 0, Francois. Come on, French guy. I, I'm just kidding, also. Of course, because I'm just a little bit disappointed with the performance of the French rugby team. Uh, the score is about 60 13, I think. That's uh, not a defeat, that's a, that's a deroute. <laughs> in French. <laughs> yeah, the New Zealand are racking up a cricket score then. Yeah. In the in the rugby quarter final. No chance of that here. We're only racing to nine. They can't get sixty. Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting something bad for the French team, but not not so bad. Not so bad. Well oh, big mistake from the tornado. I don't think uh, Tony is knowing Francois. It could be an advantage for Francois at the beginning. Maybe. Unknown quantity. Yeah. We saw in the last match uh, 
lesser known player, Alex Ev, was able to get a well deserved victory over Tim de Reuter. Can Francois follow up with another French victory on the TV table here in the French Open? And you're going to have to see the rhythm of Francois. Yep. But it, not slow, but. I think but if it was uh, Tony shooting this, he'd be on the six ball by now. Yeah, sure. Francois is very, um, he's very, uh, what's that? It's a calculator, you know? Methodical. He's, obs he's observing everything, he's looking for everything, and uh, try to, to find the best way to play and so on. And uh, pretty solid guy, pretty solid player. He's got some experience in France. I mean, he won the, the French Cup with Stéphane Cohen and, uh, and uh, Scalia. Fabrice Caria from Nice, and uh, so he is knowing uh, how to play for, for a win, for a title, and he won't be afraid of playing on the TV table here in Brice your man close to Paris for this second round of the French Open by Predator. Out the contact with the nine, it's potential contact. We can play with draw to avoid that, but it's a question of quickness. Yeah, perfectly managed. And uh, a real opportunity for Francois to lead by two on this game. Straightforward eight ball. Followed by the nine, he's left himself a funny angle, really. Don't think he needed to move the cue ball about quite so much on that shot. Yeah, uh, maybe too short, fake. Yeah, between. I think he was. He, he could have shot the the nine into the right hand side pocket. He tried to get back out to play the nine the into the same corner. Now he's facing a thin cut. Pretty good shot. Oh my God. Yeah. See, I didn't like the shot that he chose on the eight ball. Yeah. When he, he just needed to roll that in. Watch out for the cue ball, Tony. Well, it'd be okay. It'd have to be okay, but it was short for the for the pocket. So, oh, real, real chance for for Francois there. Yeah. Not that one down. Yeah. Big opportunity wasted there, really. Sure. He'd done the harder part of the job and then just managed to. Mess up the run out on the last two balls. Here comes Tony for the break in rack three. Renowned snooker player. Yeah. With a pretty impressive career in Q Sports, spanning across snooker and American pool. In a, an American pool, player. he's gained a reputation for his quick style of play and ability to run out the table in a matter of seconds, really. And that's a good result after this pretty good break from, uh, from Tony. He has to play a push out and give a long, long shot. Francois on the two. I think he might just hand this back, Francois. Yeah, because uh, it's hard to find a, a way out for the four. It's a pretty low percentage part on the two. Sure. Tony went out the last 16 Sage last year, he lost to Carl Boys, who was the eventual champion. Uh -huh. The first edition of the Predator Open. Mm -hmm. Be looking to go further this year. Wow! So, well, Francois is uh, in his in his way. I mean, that uh, that was a challenging ch shot, a test one. Uh, we saw that with Ivo uh, 
sooner and they were missed but Francois played a pretty good shot on this two and uh, okay maybe he don't have the position on the four but that's a sign a good sign for him for the game he is good he's okay he missed a nine just before but seems that okay I missed but I'm okay uh, he's trying to to play a safety shot maybe a little bit short just a little. Oh yes, he nearly got there. He is short. I think uh, Tony gather gather your death. Okay, he has to be very very good on uh, on safety shots because uh, if Tony is seeing the ball, it's gonna have to be hard for Francois. Yeah, they're gonna disappear pretty quick. Yeah. So we've had a good mix of players on the TV table today. We've had three Dutch stars, really, starting up with Mark Bisterbosch, followed by Nick Vandenberg and Tim De Reuter. Of course, uh, the first two won, and De Reuter was beaten by Alex Ev from France. Now we've got Tony Drago, and we've got other players still to come on the stream, surely tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be going, as Christoph said, from the last 32 at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, all the way through the evening. Single elimination will be down to last 16, of course, then mm -hmm. quarterfinal, semifinal, final. Mm -hmm. So make sure to follow live tomorrow, www.ebilliard.tv. You can watch on YouTube. Follow the tournament brackets on ebilliard.billiardport.com. Make sure you share the link with your friends in the pool world so they don't miss out on this great tournament <coughs> and here comes Monsieur Villar Mr. Villar Francois Villar from very France. typical French name Francois yeah because Francois used to mean French, right? That's the origin of the name. Oh. It's like Francais. Oh, Kind okay. of similar. Okay. I heard it somewhere. Okay, good. But I'm not French, so I'm not really the uh, authority on that. Okay, good. Was some good information for me. Francois means Francais. You learn something new every day? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big part of my life. I'm learning something each day, you know? Wow. What a wild shot. Hammered that one in. Wild shot. Do you think that he wanted to do that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Wow. Thank you, the nine. Because I think that uh, this cue ball was on its way for the side pocket. Oh, too far. Just too thin the cut there for Tony Drago. Yeah, but you don't. don't Leaves another shot, similarly yeah. thin cut for Francois. Yeah, and Francois has to be clever now. He has to slow down the game. He has to maybe to make some safety uh, choices. Yeah, these are awful tricky, these kind of shots. Yeah. I know when I'm faced with one of them, you don't really have much in the way of a safety option to play there. You just got to dig deep and try and make that thin cut. Oh, you can play uh, on the left part of this ball and try to put that one on the bottom rail and use a five as a broker. Uh, maybe a little bit short, uh, he's short. But it was his intention on this uh, on this shot. And is he, oh, he missed that. I think the, the English he puts on this, on this shot wasn't a good choice for uh, him. I don't think he wanted to put some in some English. He wanted to get the four up behind the, the six, seven, nine. Oh, maybe the, the cue ball behind the, behind the five, no? Without any English, just follow. I think he wanted to get the four up to the top cushion and just misjudged the, the speed oh there. Oh, no, bad, bad, bad shot. Bad shot again from Francois. Well, Francois has to... Has to Recover, recomposure himself and try to to slow down this game. It's important for him. If not, he's gonna have to 
Well. Yeah. And you see. A few careless misses. And you see. In the opening stages. For the moment, Tony is missing some balls. Uh, and Francois has to take advantage of that absolutely right now. Tony Drago came through the first round with a 9 2 win over Yu Meng. Yeah. Francois had to work a little bit harder for his first round win. He won 9 7 with Boris Vidikovic. Did you see that? Very good shot from Francois. Yeah, nice cue ball control. Ball. Hit the perfect spot on the second rail. Yeah. Short draw on the six to have the seven on the left side pocket, I think. I don't know if he uh, is straight on the six, but close to be. During this time, Tom Stanley is leading by three against Nick Vandenberg, 3-0. Quick start from Tom. Yeah, potential surprise there. Although Tom is a strong player, mm -hmm. highly ranked on the UK GB9 tour. And, and we, we saw started to get some decent results on the Euro tour as well. Yeah, and we saw also that uh, Nick is not in uh, the, bet the best uh, the best ship, I mean 9-7 only against Ivailo, defeating yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening against uh, Stefan uh, during the Camry Challenge. Uh, wow. Oof. Francois I think he would have been hooked on the 8 ball even if he had made the 7. Yeah. Pretty yeah. poor shot there from a Frenchman. Yeah. My <laughs> God, lucky one, very lucky from Tony this one, <laughs> very lucky. <laughs> Didn't think twice about the eight ball though. <laughs> it's like you wanted to. Lucky. And and you down three one. After having opportunities on each table. You that's know? right. That's pretty frustrating. I must. I think that can be pretty frustrating for Francois right now. Uh, he made a good start. He had the opportunity to make a, a 2 0 lead after a pretty good table. And now he made a couple of mistakes, maybe more than a couple. And he is he done by two. Um, Tony must be happy about the score, I think. And he's not making a lot of effort uh, to be to be too up. So I'm still expecting from Foster something better. We'll see. Yeah, because once Tony gets in his stride, it's going to be hard to stop. Uh, once again, no clear shot after the break. And push out is coming. So far, the players to seal their place in the round of 32. Next afternoon, we've got Martin Saviki, Boris Lee, Marc Bistebosch, Noel, Noel Brunoig, Fabio Rizzi, local boy mm -hmm. from France, Luigi C, Del Sim. Who's going to join them from this match? Oh, uh, yeah. I have no I have no money on my pocket, but uh, if I have some money, uh, okay. Francois is a nice guy, I and I will put my money on this on this guy just for the f for the challenge because I think that he can be uh, he can play very well. You know, Francois is a guy. He, d he doesn't 
he doesn't give up. Never. I mean that even if he is five or, five or, or six frames behind, he is still fighting. And uh, that's why I can say that three one down is not a big a big issue for him. But he has to he has to slow down the game. I, I already said that by twice. He has to slow down the game and to keep the, the rhythm. He want to keep. I mean, his rhythm, not the rhythm of Tony. And the rhythm of Tony is very, very, very quick. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's not a rhythm. That's a something uh, very personal from Tony. So, please come back to your the, your something comfortable for you. I'll play a kill this one from for Tony, but. Okay, think. Take 30 seconds on this shot. Be patient. Look and try to slow down the game. Very Just important to not to let your opponent dictate to you in a match. Yeah, you got to keep to your own style. It's important to be comfortable with the rhythm. So, uh, if it's too quick, you have to slow down. That's all. That's obvious. And uh, he needs some rows, and he got this from there with this shot. Oh no. Get <laughs> the rose. I, I thought that Tony was looking, but that's not the case. And once again, once again, Tony is on the table and is gonna to. Yeah, he's gonna to. Pretty comfortable stretching across the table. Of course, he's used to the larger size snooker table, so yeah. used to having to get up on the table, be a bit flexible. Pocket for him. The pockets are pretty wide there, so uh, you know. He's a big guy too, he's got good reach. Yeah. <coughs> quick, 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 quick. Three becomes four. Four one. Four one. Ciao. Bye bye. Sorry for this discussion in French. Pretty nice break there from Francois. A little bit unfortunate to have the cue ball kicked back down to the bottom of the table, leaving a distance to the two. Mm -hmm. Looks like the nine might also obstruct the path of the two to the pocket, so whether he wants to take on a an ambitious combination or play something else is oh, you know. to be seen. <sighs> Look the six. Yeah, he's lining it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's a go for it shot. I mean with the with the six and if you're playing with the right, right speed you can play a two way shot on this on this one and trying to and uh, to hide the, the cue ball behind the, the six and the eight. Okay. Problem when you're trying to play Click. two ways is that you can sometimes end up with neither. Just a question of speed on this one. Okay, you take the end goal, you take the, the quantity on the cue ball, and uh, and you play uh, and you play the, the, the correct speed to uh, to uh, go to reach the the area you want. It was not. Uh, I think it was not very hard to do the two way, but okay, the combo the combo was not easy. God. Bowl after bowl after bowl after bowl. It's going to be five. <laughs> yeah. It's 
not wasting any time here, Tony. Yeah, sure. Come on, Francois, give him some work to do. Couple of balls found gravity there in the top left corner. Seven ball and the five ball went down and the one came nicely down to the bottom of the table, sitting pretty for the cut into the corner. Two had no path to a pocket though after the collision. Tony Drago plays safe. Francois, I think he's going to have to kick at this off of one rail. Ball in hand. This could be a short-lived match for Francois Villar. Mm -hmm. Good result in the first round, but so far this has proved a step too far for him. He'll have another chance tomorrow if he does lose this match. And only started with this missed on the on the nine and one zero for him. That's and right. That. This is that moment. Uh, everything has changed. Francois made a good start, but... That's right. Had a chance to go up 2-0. Yeah. Now finds himself down 6-1. Looking increasingly like Tony Drago going to be through to the last 32 stage and have a longer lie-in tomorrow morning. can help to conserve energy over a weekend-long tournament. Alex Montpellier has just sealed his place in the last 32 with a 9-5 win over Napsi Tan. Now, yeah. it's getting pretty serious for Francois. Absolutely needs to start winning racks. It was a good game and uh, in, uh, in progress, Evil Arts from the Netherlands against Joao Cardozo from Portugal. 3 1 for uh, Evo so far. Danny Wisnans leading by 5 against Chris Seville. 5 0. Alex Mopet just won against Samson, as you said. Alan da Costa is leading by 3. And on Hill. And uh, Tom Stevery is still leading against Nick Vandenberg, 4 2. Meanwhile, another foul on the TV table. This time it's Tony Bra Drago who couldn't make contact with the two ball. Okay. And pretty good table for uh, Francois. Despite of the position of the yeah. on the black eight in front of uh, the nine ball. I mean, uh, all is about, all of the other balls are pretty uh, easy to reach. 
Yeah, he'll just need to decide which pocket he wants to play the eight, and it does go up into the top right if you can find a way to nestle in below it. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, you could always play a combination, I suppose, or mm -hmm. try and play yeah. tight position to shoot in either the left side or the left bottom corner. I think all is about the position of the seven. If you get pretty straight on the seven, you can come back and get under the eight. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nearly missed it, and as a result, yeah. bumped into the five. Yeah, I could cut it. This, yeah, you could cut this ball on the on the right side pocket, I think, and avoid the contact on the seven yeah, to find the position of the six. But uh, watch out the position of the six because the other the seven is at the opposite. Wants to hit the bottom side. rail on the left hand side of the seven, then head back up off a second rail. Got a good angle to work with here. Get back up table. Yeah. Gonna put top spin on the cue ball. Don't be short, Francois, on this one. You need to cross the table. Short guy. Looks Don't good. Be short. Don't be short. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I couldn't come back. Let's see what he has planned for the eight ball then. Yeah. Could come back. He'd like to be a little bit straighter. With draw, with left English, you can maybe come back to the to the black eight and feel contact or kind of contact to push this ball. Risky business up. though. Yeah. Sure. But the, 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 the combo is not an easy one, so... That's for sure. Okay. Okay, combo. Combo time. Mr. Combination <laughs> at 4-1. This is made a slightly easier, yeah. but still difficult. It's off yeah. angle. Yeah, no, he started by... No combination is easy. He started with uh, a combo or so. And, uh, He's rattled uh, it. Okay, Christmas yeah, time, Christmas time. Da, 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 stood da. up a little bit on that, Francois. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. French, in, in English. Oh my God. <laughs> Sacre bleu, <laughs> as we could Sacre say. Sacre I, I told you. <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah. To teach it yeah. to me. Please read Tintin and the. The adult cap the Captain Adoc. Ah, yeah. No, I read it in English. Yeah, okay, Saperi Popet. Yeah. It's the, the captain, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't remember what it is in oh English, but. God. Oh, two young guys we'll are go coming with Bleu. close to the screen. What do you want, guys? Oh, he didn't say in English. A French, a young French is speaking English. He's going to have to be interviewed tomorrow afternoon, Fabio Rizzi. One of the young French players has already secured his place in the last 32. Tony made the three ball yeah. on the break and he's looking good on the one. Pretty good break this time. We have a good view on the first ball to play. <laughs> wow, maybe the position on of the four. We have a five. Well uh, if he gets nice on the two. Yeah, it depends. Well, yeah, he wanted to hit well. the side rail a bit higher up. Not Maybe he can easy. follow his way through. Not no, Not made a fine. bit of a mess of that with the tricky queuing over the eight ball. Was not an easy one from the, the position he's got just over the the, the eight ball. So.
Right, come on, nice. come on. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice control. Yeah. From the tornado. Just what he wanted to have for this four ball. And uh, he is on his way for the hill. Looks that way. No fuss in this match for Tony. Missed a couple of balls early on. Francois didn't take advantage, and oh. that seems to have spurred Tony on to a frame of mind where he's not miss missing a single ball. On the hill, 8 1. This is looking like a rout. <laughs> okay. Please say to Tony that there's no, re there's no late for the train and for the bus this evening. All is on time, so don't, <laughs> don't be worried. I think he's got to <laughs> get the train back to his hotel. <laughs> sure. He must be worried about that. <laughs> he doesn't want to miss last orders in the bar either. Yeah, well, you know, he has to get some rest this night, but maybe he wanted to sh to see the game, uh, the rugby, the rugby match between New Zealand and France. Yeah, maybe he wants to watch the highlights on TV. Yeah, and he told me yesterday, oh, I believe in the French team. I told him, oh, you know, you must be crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our our manager has no imagination, so how how can you possibly be possibly be bit? This uh, yeah. black team without imagination, you can't. Is and we shoot the combination here. Uh, Get it over with. No. It's well gonna run out the right. He is, he is nice. So it might last slightly longer. It's just a stay of execution for yeah. Francois. Yeah, watch out. Uh, Suffering is. But th there's some fun be drawn around. Out slightly longer. Yeah, there's some fun around the table, so watch out. Watch out, uh, Joe. Some young rascals. Yeah. The oh, Tony. He tried to play what the are you combo. <laughs> Caron way for this combo, but without success. Come on, Francois. So that's, oh, that's not an easy shot. You know, when you are done one eight and you are stuck to the rail. Yeah, the cue ball is going to be heading to into the eight ball. Yeah, and you have the seven, the other side of the table. My God, maybe defense. I mean, try to uh, to play the. Well, I don't know if he's got the the correct angle to do that, but to place the the cue ball behind the the red, uh, the black eight. What do you think? I think it's a tricky proposition to play any kind of safety uh, behind the eight. Maybe you can send the six down to the bottom of the table. Our image seems to have frozen. Francois is shooting at the black eight ball now. Must have made the six and the seven. We've lost our image, so uh, just trying to see over the people in front of us uh, what is exactly happening. And uh, Francois has managed to get out, reduces it to eight two. Seem to have temporarily lost our image. Gonna try and get that fixed for you just as soon as we can. Score. We do. Okay, eight two. Okay, we have a, a technical issue once again. 
and imagine frozen uh, and our technician is not there so yeah you know that's not your problem i know but we have a a little problem uh, with that and uh, we maybe we can we have to stop and to restart we'll see that j'ai coupé, coupé le son okay. on va arrêter l'enregistrement le, et puis on va redémarrer qu'est-ce que tu en penses